G'day everyone, you've heard about an elevator pitch, what about an escalator pitch? I'm here with Chris Saxon, we're going to find out about 23AI as we head up the escalator. Okay Chris, you've just done a session on 23AI, uh, give me some of the highlights, what are the features that really blow your mind on 23AI? I mean, there's just so many features, it's hard to pick out a few, but I think um, one of the things that's been really cool is the AI vector search, which allows kind of semantic comparisons. So in the past, so we had a little demo, we had sports teams and given silly names like Runner Up and Champions United. And um, you can search for Runner Up. Normally you'd have to know exactly how to text spell it. And there was a little hyphen in there, which of course screwed things up a little bit because you're like, is there a hyphen, is there a space? With semantic search, then you can enter Runner Up and it will find it for you nice and easily. But the really cool thing is then it allows you to find related terms, not just runner-up, but second as well. And it matches that as the um, top match for it. And you can find, if you put in loser, we've got relegated athletic as the top match. So I think that's a really cool way to find what people are mean and rather than what exactly the text matching is searching for. Because that was always a really big problem when you were searching for things. I have to admit, I, I always find when you're talking to customers, the common thing they often say is, why isn't my search like Google, where I just type in keywords and it somehow knows the understanding of it, all that kind of stuff. So besides AI, because I'm sure people have that, that sort of fear of, of, oh, I don't want to go AI just yet. Yeah. Uh, give me one more 23AI feature that's going to be just really happy for developers to grab on day one. Yeah. So I think um, another one is the automatic SQL transpiler. So PL SQL functions, we always had that problem, slow your SQL statement down. Now with a little flag, enable it, and the database automatically transfers it to SQL. So you get good performance gain um, just by enabling a flag. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Chris. Have a great day.